Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. And this is one of the first games I played growing up. And I really enjoyed it. Now I hope you all like the new like, the layout, how everything looks all blue and everything, one of my favorite colors. But, no, I spent quite a lot of time making this layout, so I hope you all enjoy it. But we're going to get right into one of my favorite games. We're going to start a new game, and we're going to play on a normal mode. I would play on difficult, but I have not that game. So we're going to play on normal mode. And I've beaten the game on normal mode, but that was a long time ago. In an age long past, evil flooded over the land. Creatures are washed, the dark tide ran wild, which mankind the brink of annihilation. It is this fair mankind appealed to the heavens in a blinding light of gain hope. From a blinding light. Sacred stones. These five glorious traitors held the power to dispel evil. The hero Grotto and his warriors used the sacred stones to combat evil and darkness. They defeated the demon king and sealed his soul away with the stones. With the darkness in prison, peace returned to Mon Bell. This peace would not last. Alright. And this right here is the continent of Magdal. For some 800 years, a quiet peace reigned in the absence of the terrible darkness. Sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been built around their power and their legacies. The kingdom of Rene, ruled by Phaedo, the peerless warrior king. Oh, uh, nothing else, okay. The kingdom of Frelia, ruled by Hayden, the venerable sage king. The kingdom of Shahana, ruled by Ismail, queen of the white king. Theocracy of Rouston, ruled by Monza, the Divine Emperor. And the last one, the Grotto Empire, ruled by Vigard, the stalwart, silent emperor. These five countries have the power of the sacred stones. They are joined, they are joined by the emerging mercantile republic of Carcino. Carcino. In these times of peace, tales of past conflict have drifted into legend. The memories of the ancient dark arts have all but evaporated. It is now the year 803. In an instant, the whole of Nagvel is threatened by an unexpected atrocity. The Grotto Empire, the largest of the sacred stone nations, has invaded the kingdom of Rene under orders of Emperor Vigard. A longtime ally of Grano, Rene is caught off guard, unable to mount any resistance. Grano's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. Compounding King Fado's worries, his son, Gone missing. Grado's momentum carries the armies to the gates of Castle Rene itself. Rene will fall. It is inevitable. So how did you like that intro? That's a really nice intro game. Prologue to the Fall of Rene. So yeah, this is a really fun game. You guys will definitely get to see a lot of the storyline. It's gonna be really fun for you guys to watch, hopefully. Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. The Emperor regards forces are within the castle walls. I understand. The garrison has fallen. We lost contact with Prince Ephraim and can expect no aid from his men. Your Majesty, what are we to do? 
what else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. Father! There we go. Are you going to embrace that idea again? Yes, I have it right here. Good. Exactly. Yes, your majesty. Take Erica and Hyperfrelia. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust you will keep him safe. Understood. I'm one of your men, I'm one of your majesties. I shall remain here. We have long held right over among our dearest allies, and now they attack. I must know why. Am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? is mine to guide. How could I have failed me so? Father, you can't stay. You mustn't. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth. Ride. Take her to safety. Father! Forgive me, your highness. Oh, no. Look at all the knights. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. General Seth! Frogs, fly the head and bring word of our queen, Brilia. A single rider is better on passing by unseen than passing unseen by Grado's men. We may have thrown all that has happened here and we should have reinforcements. Uh, understood. Erica, you must quickly behind me. You there, girl. Tell me, would that be the wayward princess of Renee? Well, this must be my lucky day. You're a dead man, the wench. Never. Walter, the Moonstone General, the Moonstone, Grado's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. As you see, it's kind of turn-based, but not really. Ah! No. Ready to it. Good choice, Seth. Such terrible wounds, and he still holds to his duty? How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away. Try to outrun death. More time to savor the hunt and the kill. He's a scary guy. Erica, this way. Gra I see no more of Grado's men. If we've made it this far, we've surely earned the moment's rest. Please, forgive my grabbing you so briskly. Is it briskly or is it briskly? Don't be foolish, Seth. If it weren't for you, I would have never made it out of the castle. You are the reason I'm still alive. You have my gratitude. And whoever that man was? Sorry. He was clearly after me. It's my fault that you received such a great wound. Allow me to treat it if I... Your Highness, I cannot allow any, energy, any injury like this to be an obstacle. We have more important matters to attend to. We must press on to Frelia. We must fulfill His Majesty's wishes. I wonder how my father fares alone in the castle. Do you think he's safe? And what of my brother on the Grotto front? We've heard nothing from him for days. King Grado and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. I don't even the might of Grado Empire to hold him back. More important to me, Your Highness that you took your own safety. How sad to see the two of them, how sad the two of them would be if something were to happen to you. We must reach Frelia to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course, you're right. Until I'm reunited with my father and brother, I must not despair. Come, Seth, let us go. Once we cross that bridge, we will be in Frelia, near border Mulan. Let us proceed, Princess Erica. Your Highness, I won't lie to you. 
this will not be an easy ride. Please, take this for fear of something should happen to me. You must continue to fairly out well if need be. <laughs> you there, Renee Dog. Where do you think you're going? Rattles men. Stand back from America. It's alright, Zen. My brother has taught me some things, Lord Zen. I will stand with you. Alright, now the original one would have Seth been brought up there and attacked. So that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, Seth is kind of overpowered. He's a he's a paladin. He's not your he's not your average everyday knight. Alright. So he's gonna go and attack him. Probably lose. So I think Seth is probably gonna carry this mission. I know that's kind of boring if you want to see Erica do a little deal with little action, but she will in the next chapter, don't worry. All that's left is their leader. So the forest here gives her another, an extra defense point and 20 avoid. So if he comes up and tries to challenge her, it'll be a kick block. What was that? Do you think you can take me, wretched lordling? Come. It's time you high and mighty knight to learn to respect a true warrior. So as you can see, the enemy's coming too. You will be the first to die. Miss. So we're not gonna hit for um, one reason. If I were to hit and he hits me back and then he hits me a second time without me giving without giving me a chance to heal, I lose the chapter and have to restart. I'm just gonna let this happen. So he's gonna attack again and misses. So perfect. We win. Like this game is all strategy and you gotta think about every single move you make. Because if a character loses HP, you can no longer use them. They're dead. It's not like the new games where like there's a like quick revive and whatnot. This game is hardcore. Oh, why are you yelling so much? Oh, and all the level ups are completely random. You never know what's gonna happen. So that was actually a decent level up. Princess, are you injured? What? Oh no, I'm fine, Seth. But you look so pale. I'm fine. I'm fine. The score, isn't it? It's not like all the games my brother and I used to play with Lion. I never thought... I didn't know it would be the savage. Are words useless? Is strength all that matters? It's so sad. Why would the Cradle Empire do this? To what end would they start a war? Princess. Don't worry, Seth. I won't give in to sorrow. Let's get moving. I'm not broken, and I won't stop until I see Renee restored. I won't stop until I'm reading United with my father and brother. Alright, we're gonna save. And I hope you all enjoyed the first episode. It was kind of an intro to the game itself. As you can see, that Grotto, the Grotto Empire kind of just wants to take over everything. And what motive they have? I'm trying to remember. I think I remember, but I'm gonna leave the game up to tell you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you take care.